Welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh... You know, I find it very interesting that, uh, this game starts with a forest and all that, given that I'm pretty sure there was no forest area in the original game. I, uh... I seem to recall the first one just opens with you leaving your home and being in, like, a residential area. And, uh... Yeah, there wasn't a forest area, you just started out in the middle of suburbia, I guess. I remember there was a, a, a big empty area with nothing in it except the entrance to a subway. You know, because not everything in suburbia is going to be useful to you on your quest. So you go down the subway and use the, the, the hole punch to get into the caves, and that's about as far as I ever made it. Which I can't even remember if I made it into the caves personally, or if it's just a... Uh more subway beneath that, and it was my brother's who made it to the caves. Shout out to Roshan, who says, I know this game is supposed to be cute and all, but man, I can't help but think this game is taking place in a post-apocalyptic world, like far into the future, enough that most human structures would be overtaken by nature. Or it's actually just a dream, given the boards painted on with a different form to the blob to take, which is far more likely, all things considered. I don't know about that. I think it might just be really weird here. But, uh... I do like the tra the, uh, the creativity. So here's what I'm gonna do. Oop. One button that doesn't do that. And then I... Hey! No! God damn it. That one through. Let's go. Okay, first. Oh, this right. way. Um. This way. Okay, that helps. Here, ready? Let's get up here, it'll be hey. fine. Now how am I supposed to avoid that guy? What's up? I guess I know there's no treasure there. It. Uh, I guess I have to go against the grain. Ooh. I'm sorry. Whoa. Hurry! Let's go. Let's go. Gotta be careful about this, because I don't want actually want him falling down the hole. Ah! No! Damn it! I think this went through very well. How do I get down there without bringing him with me? I need to, uh... The only thing I can think to try is going against the wind in that corridor now. What? Hurry! This way! Wait, what is there? Right, just more of that. Hey! No! God damn it. Hurry up! Well, they don't like jelly beans, certainly. Damn it! Blubbert! Oh. 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 O
I won't. Because the ball appeared at my feet, the animation of me stepping out of the way automatically pushed me off the cliff. I feel like I'm fl floundering here, because I don't think this should be this difficult to do what I'm trying to do here. Ready? Hurry! Log! This way! They're a lot heavier than they look. This way. No, no. Come here. Bob. Hey. Gotta go. Okay, so far, so good. Let's see where he turns around. That's important. Okay. No. That's uh What the fuck am I meant to do with that? Shit, man. I thought I was on to something there. I threw it down there, but I guess that works. This way. I wish there was a map button. This is just say. Right. Hey! Okay. Well, this isn't the right way. No, I got nothing. Just nothing. Over here. Oh, 
All right, this is frustrating, but I'm sure. Uh... I mean, on the one hand, I'm pretty sure I know exactly how that was meant to be done now. Right where you're getting the treasure chest, you can do that without dying. Shit! I guess I got distracted with the shiny one, huh? Come on! Hurry! Hey! Alright, here we go. Oh, wait. I just realized what's going on there. Very rude right there. Oh. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Uh. Damn it. Hey, maybe I should actually do that instead of jumping off now that I see Blobberts right there. Fast. It's like the more I move, the faster he falls, and that's really throwing everything off. Ooh. Why do they have exploding mines? Why did they make people into exploding mines? Sure, they're very nice people when they're not exploding. Oh. Terra Firma. Yeah. Um. That feels very good, I have to say. We really earned these treasures. What? What? Neat. Ooh. Great work, Blobbert. I'm very proud of us. What was up here? Is it, is it just the button up here? It wasn't a button, it was a garbage can. Yeah, I guess it is. It looked like a lookout tower. Cool background. Can't look up here, it's not letting me. I just suddenly imagined the uh the boy here, Billy, as a uh as a Pokemon trainer who only uses Ditto. <laughs> Caught. You know what? I'm gonna check. Uh, turns out it's very difficult to find this. Sadly, there is no A Boy and His Blob wiki to my shock and horror. I did see one thing which suggested this is banana, but banana anvil? I don't know, it is yellow. Wait, what am I meant to do with an anvil? You can't lift an anvil. Oh, okay. Like the stones. Oh, 
Oh, wow. You know, I'm reminded of a thing I read once about uh, the making of Portal, where the the famous weighted companion cube that everyone friggin' adores, uh, that was a side effect of video game development. They wanted, you know, they just wanted to do a level where the gimmick was that you had to take the same cube with you in order to solve all the pro uh, solve all the puzzles, as opposed to you know using new cubes or whatever. The problem was that all of the other chambers had taught the player, the playtesters, that uh, you know cubes are to be used for one thing and then abandoned and ignored. So no one was getting it. It's like you put a button down over here and you put the cube on the button, but then you're supposed to, you know, push the cube over here and use it as a stepping stone, and no one got that. Absolutely no one got that. So the way they decided to make it clearer that you need to take the cube with you was by having GLaDOS not st shut up about the cube the entire time you're in that puzzle chamber. That's the uh, entire reason why she's rambling on about how if the cube tells you to do something, you should probably ignore that. Mom. It's funny that I was reminded of that just because I had to, you know, do the anvil for one thing and then use it for something else immediately after. There, no one will find you in there. What I find really funny is that this kid probably doesn't know what a blacksmith is. Hang on, I don't have blue. No, I do have blue here. It's just in a different spot, so there's no telling, you know, what goes where. Wonder if that means I can't ever use all of them at once. Well, that was easier than usual. What the hell is the point of that? Will this fall kill me? No. <laughs> Close. Way. Oh, there is shit up there. Oh, but there's also shit down there. Oh, that's mysterious as hell! Oh, what the hell, we just got here, let's do this. Oh. This time it is. Uh, there it is. What are you doing? Hurry! Oh wow. I didn't actually think you could do that. Hmm. I wonder. Anything useful up there? Hurry! Interesting. It's a little tucked away treasure thing. That's the opposite of what I thought that was. I thought this was a path forward. Well, I guess I need to smush this guy. Like, there is no way this kid knows much about proper blacksmithing, right? This kid just knows about, you know, anvils from cartoons where they fall harmlessly on people. stuck on a puzzle. 
Hmm. Oh, you're a big un. Hey, I remember you. You were in the opening cutscene getting smushed by an anvil. Gee, I wonder what I need to do here. <laughs> hey! Okay. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play a Boy and His Blob when we, uh, give this guy a very unfortunate headache. <laughs> Later.